inside your flight bag, what you'll find when you unpack the gear is uh, two one inch straps, some pegs, a ratchet, a fly sheet, some poles, the tent itself, and then one one and a half inch strap, which is 35 mil. The first thing you can do is uh, unwrap your one inch straps and uh, take them, put them around the two trees. One should go to the tail and one should go to one of the two uh, back sides. Show you how to wrap it around a tree. So just let it out while you go round. Come back to yourself and just one a bit higher than that. Out there's good. Feed the tail through the loop and then pull it tight against the tree. Get the twists out if you want. And the same on this side. Just have to eye it that it's about the same height as the other one. Doesn't matter too much, but the closer you can get to the same height, the better. Goes through there, and again, pull it tight. On the tree. Then we can get the tent itself, which will come with uh, malons on either each corner. This is the tail. You can tell it's the tail because if you look on the floor side, you'll find this little uh, buckle here. I'm going to take it back to about there, about three feet from the tree. Take out this twist. And then we're going to do a cow hitch through the malon, round and over itself, and again up through the back and then down like a tie through that bit there. Now this is a knot that you will be able to undo very easily after it's been in tension. So that's the, uh, that's the reason we use this type of hitch for the two static ends. So we've done everything we can to reduce the weight of the flight. And one of the things we've done is we're only gonna be using one ratchet buckle. So this is gonna be a static end. And we can feed out the tent until we find the two corners like that. Feed the whole strap through. And I'm gonna pull it pretty tight and then do another cow hitch. So. I'm pinching it there against the malon, round and under, and then over the whole strap. Goes over. And then through the back and down like a tie. So you'll find that that's quite easy to readjust if you need to. sit nicely like that you can dress it and let that go now because this side is actually the furthest tree because this isn't a uh, well, you'll never find you'll never find a perfect triangle but in this case this tree is actually further away from the from the tent than the others so I'm going to put this strap about a foot or 30 centimeters higher than the other ones and that will compensate for the stretch in the strap when you get in it so hopefully it will all be level and perfect when when the time comes to get into the tent now this the ratchet the single ratchet that you get in the pack goes in just like any other of the tensile ratchets so you put the loop through the malon and then the ratchet through the loop and then cinch that up nice and then you take your strap, put it through the spindle of the ratchet, pull it back towards the tree. And when you've done it as tight as you can by hand, 
release the ratchet by pulling with the lever away, opening it up and then giving it a crank until you can't crank anymore. Oh, that's enough. Then you get your poles. I say poles, it's actually just one pole. You get your pole and you feed it through. It doesn't through. It doesn't matter if you go from front to back or from back to front. But once it's in there, you'll find that there's a socket for you to plug the end of the pole in. And then you can walk round. So at the back you'll find that you've got two of these sockets and you can choose whichever one you fancy. It's all to do with roof tension and um, preference basically. I'm going to go with the back one today but essentially that's all there is to putting up the tent. And then we can put the fly sheet on. And the fly sheet's simple enough, comes with its own band, which they're quite useful in their own right. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the tail. And you can tell the tail because it's got the seam. Where the tail is, it's got the two halves of the fly sheet, they come together like that. So I'm going to just put it there, hold it in place, and I'm gonna wrap my straps, lace them round, uh, sorry, lace my elastics round the strap and clip them together like that. And then I'm going to take the far end, and I say it's the far end because it's the end that it's, most of the fly sheet's on this end, so I'm going to pull it over as I run my hands down this edging. And then we'll do the same thing here, where we just lace the elastics around the strap until you get to the end. And I'm going to do one more on that one, get it nice and tight. And then we're at the last end, and we just do the same thing. Probably best to go around four or five times if you don't want any slip especially if it's windy, because that does grip it very nicely. If you can, make sure that the fly sheet covers the, uh, the steel mail on. That'll mean that every part of your tent is completely covered and there's gonna be no water ingress. I'm gonna go around quite a few times on this one, I think, it looks like. One more. Yeah. Now I'll show you how to peg it into the ground so you get uh, your tip your fly sheet nice and covered. So, get the bungee on there, take it down to the ground. I usually do it this way, I hold my loop that I've just made there and I'll screw through the loop. keeping the elastic as close to the floor as possible. Hook it onto there or directly onto the material loop, it doesn't matter. And then hold it in place as you screw in the peg. 